I don't want to have regrets as I get older. So this won't be the excuse. My name is Noah Stallworth. I went to Rockford High School and now attend the University of Michigan. I was a three-sport athlete in middle school. He played football and basketball. He um, was always playing a sport or he was swimming. He was in, he swam competitively. He was always in the yard or on the street with the neighbors um, running around, you know, all day. Noah was always a very quiet um, kid who never would take a chance at doing anything unless he knew he was very good at it. Noah started off running track in middle school uh, at North Rockford Middle School. Eighth grade year, uh, I was approached by a beautiful lady. Her name is Mrs. Bracey. Um, she's the head of an AAU club in Grand Rapids called the Grand Rapids Fire. It's a track team. That pretty much helped, caused him to do track full time. Um, although about one month out of the whole year, he was always running pretty much five days a week with um, meets on every weekend. I had some experiences. I went to nationals. Um, I did all okay, you know, uh, just good training and a higher level training was important. Um, and then throughout high school, I was able to continue and build off of that. Um, freshman year, I did play football, but after that, it was um, only track. I was able to grow a lot and I set a few records um, with, you know, teams and by myself. Um, I've had some big experiences. I was able to become an All-American. That was an awesome experience, uh, super blessed. There are some things that you don't think you have to do until you get older, um, like count carbs or um, learn how to adjust for high or low blood sugars. <clears throat> I think that putting that on a 10 year old, um, I don't know if it's necessarily know if it gives them more stress, but it definitely gives them an extra layer of responsibility that normally um, a fifth grader wouldn't have to um, take on until earlier or later in life. My name is Noah Stallworth. I was born on July 3rd, 2001. Um, I went to Rockford High School and now attend the University of Michigan and I am a type 1 diabetic. I was diagnosed with diabetes um, in August of 2011. Um, it was the summer before his fifth grade year. The whole summer was miserable. Um, I felt terrible the whole time. It was a different summer in that he was um, very lethargic and that was very unlike him. He didn't want to go outside as much. He laid around. Uh, we were noticing that he was a little bit short of breath and that he wasn't sleeping well. Um, so we took him to the doctor and they actually were treating him for like asthma and um, it, he wasn't improving. He was actually getting worse. And then um, at the end of August, right before school started, uh, we took him in. They took some blood and did some other things and then I dropped him off and went to work and like three hours later, the doctor's office called me and said, he has type one diabetes, you gotta get him into this clinic, we got this great clinic in town. Well, initially I had heard the word diabetes and um, I didn't know the, much about the difference between type one and type two. So I immediately envisioned it was going to change everything about his life and that he was gonna you know, have to take shots forever. And um, I was worried that he, his day-to-day his -day would change and that he wouldn't be able to pursue all the things that we um, wanted for him. And it was, a, it was a battle because every single time he put anything in his mouth, he had to take a shot. For the first year, he was on shots. And uh, he started to not want to eat because then he wouldn't have to take a shot if he didn't eat. And um, it was tough. It was really tough on our whole family. Everyone was, everybody, everyone became an expert at uh, counting carbs and, and figuring out um, how many units of insulin to give. And uh, it, it changed all of us. <laughs> 